Hello, I'm Craig Darpino from American Auto Wire. Today I'm going to show you how to remove a key lock and tumbler from a GM style ignition switch. This ignition switch is a 500684, which you'll find in most of our classic update kits for General Motors cars. These are the two different examples of key lock and tumbler that can go in this switch. There's the style with the finger guard and the flat face style. The tumbler that's currently installed in this switch is the style with the finger guard is a 500672. This is the other example of key lock and tumbler that will also fit the 500684 ignition switch. This is a 500674 smooth faced key lock and tumbler. For the first example I have the 500672 key lock tumbler installed in the 500684 ignition switch. Now if you'll notice, there are actually two holes in the face of the tumbler. What I like to do is have the holes on the left side and, I, and that, that way I know that the bottom hole is the one that's gonna release the key lock and tumbler. What you're gonna use to do this is just a standard paper clip with the one leg bent out like I have it here. So you wanna make sure the switch is in the full accessory position that's as far left as you can go. Like I said before, you have your access hole. You're going to feel a spring-loaded button at the bottom of this access hole. When you, when you push that paper clip, it'll, it'll actually push back. You're going to push this in, and you're going to turn it past the accessory position to release the tumbler. And this way, the tumbler will come sliding out. it's released. Now to, to reinstall it, you're just going to reverse the process of removing it, except you won't need the paper clip. You're going to push it straight in till it, till it bottoms out, and you're going to turn it right, and now it's locked in. This is the other example of key lock and tumbler that you'll find. Um, this is the 500674, the smooth-faced key lock and tumbler. It uh, doesn't have a finger guard on it. And the same principles apply to this switch. You're gonna make sure it's in the full accessory position. That's full counterclockwise till it stops. And you're gonna gra grab the bottom hold to release the tumbler, same as the one with the finger guard. So you're gonna put the clip in. You'll feel it spring loaded, like I was telling you before. You'll turn this past accessory and voila, it's, then it's released. And to reinstall, it's the same idea. Put it in until it bottoms out in the switch, and it's locked in. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.